How's it going everyone? I'm C-Dub and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over Clone Hero. The Clone Hero is basically a game like Rock Band and uh, Guitar Hero. But a small community have come together, it's a big community now. I've come together and sorted out all this software and it's all for free. You can donate to them, I suggest you do because what they're doing is amazing. But if you want to get yourself started, you need to go to this website. All links will be in the description. You want to go to here, clonehero.net. You, you want to download the latest version and the version for you, for your PC. And then you want to join their Discord. Now, if you haven't got Discord, you're going to have to make a Discord um, because you need to join this in order to get the right files and stuff like that. Once joined, it will take you here. What you want to do is you want to go into the rules. Have to read the rules because the rules will let you go into more of their Discord. They have certain things in here that you have to type in order to get access. Look down the bottom, it tells you how to do it. But I suggest you read everything in their Discord first. Then once that's done that, You'll be able to go to the PTB opt-in. Again, read what it says, and they give you access to the rest of their Discord. The reason you need to do this is because then you need to go into the info and DL. The info and DL will allow you to get the Clone Hero Launcher. So this enables you to play your Guitar Hero guitars, your Rock Band guitars, your Rock Band drums. Um, and I'm not sure if it does microphones and stuff like that but I only played the drums on the uh, Clone Hero. Once you're here, download Windows or wh whatever your operating system is here. So download that. I'm not going to do it because I've done it. Also, once you've done that, you want to then go to another part of Discord and the link will be in the description. You want to go to here. Again, you'll be presented, you should be presented with this page. Read what they say and then answer their question down here. And then you, you'll have ex access to the rest of their Discord page. Once that's done, you then, once you've downloaded your Clone Hero game, and the Clone Hero Launcher, which I have here. As you can see, I've got the Clone Hero here. And then I put the Clone Hero Launcher files in the Clone Hero uh, file. So where I downloaded it, I put it into my game drive, Clone Hero, and then I put the Clone Hero Launcher in there as well, just to save complications. Once that's been done, you want to start Clone Hero and then get into the game and then close it down. Then once you've done that, you want to go into Clone Hero Launcher, start it. And it brings up this page. So this is where you find all your information, all your news and everything that's going on with Clone Hero. Go to the updates and then go to the little arrow here. Make sure you've got the updated version. If you're not sure, go to uh, verify file. And then you want to go down to settings. Now in settings, you'll have public test builds. You want to enable that. That allows you, I think, to download custom songs and use um, custom controllers for the game. Once you've done that, you want to click play. There you go. What you want to do now, I use an Xbox controller. So you press start, you sign into your profile or make a profile, and press start again. And this is the important part here because you need to go to your controller, you need to select what controller you've got. So if you've got five lane drums, normal drums, six fret guitar, five fret guitar. 
and you can do all your lefty flip note speeds highway lengths in there i suggest if you're having trouble then highway length you want to increase so you can see them come in a lot further away so mine's drums so i select drums and i go to midi settings input devices this is where you choose what um, input device you want to use so my lexicon mac usb that's my audio interface so i don't want to use that because that would pick up the microphone my four midi port two times two in a that's my actual midi interface but i'm not using the a i'm using the b so i click that then you want to go into mapping so what i would suggest is i'd play the game See where the colors are on the pads and stuff like that or on the guitar make sure they you know represent what they do on your device if they don't and go into mapping and you can singly map by clicking and tapping what you need so say like a red pad i would click that then i would tap the pad or the key that i wanted to map that to and it would map it to that then after that you are literally free to play so go into quick play and then you're done I will upload another video on how to get custom songs to put into Clone Hero. And that is it. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. Remember to sub, hit the notification bell, and uh, I'll literally get back to you as soon as I can. Also, join my Discord. It'll be in the description, and we can have a chat there. Hope this helps, and I'll catch everyone later.